Hey guys, it's Garrus here, and back with a double upload, um, damn it, why did I go into my own voice at the end, I don't know. Nah, but seriously, hey guys, it's Comedy Shorts Gamer here, ow, Gamer, Gamer. You alright guys, what up, it's Calplex here, and welcome to another glitch tutorial, I haven't done one of these since my realistic grip tape glitch tutorial, which I made that like two months ago, I think. But this one was requested by someone on Twitter, I can't remember who you are and your Twitter name, I'm sorry. But, um, thank you for the recommendation of what I should do. I'll probably do another glitch tutorial at the end of this video, because why not make two now if I can. But today we're doing the Cannonball Speed Glitch tutorial. This, this glitch is quite complicated to do, there's different variations, so there's just normal doing normal cannonballs, which gets you decent amount of speed so you can trick line and still do your stuff. So here are all the variations of the cannonball speed glitch. So we've got normal cannonball, which looks like that. Cannonball with gesture, which looks like that. Cannonball RB, cannonball RB gesture, and gesture cannonball RB gesture cannonball. Which gets you a bit more speed. So each one progresses with a bit of speed. I'm going to start off with the basic one which is just normal cannonball and just pressing Y. So it's very simple and I'm going to try and explain it for PS3 as well as Xbox. So you won't need to change any of your, like, your stance or anything like that. So you don't need to change like your uh, what stance you're in or goofy or regular. It doesn't need to change your style. You don't need to change your gestures. I just use my uh, high pump gesture because I think you get the most amount of speed but I'm not sure that like, you can use that. You can use let's say if I use my thumbs up one you still get a lot of speed so it doesn't really matter which gesture you use. I just use gesture because that's the one I've always been using and I get used to it so I'm just using the gesture overall but you, don't, you can use any gesture you like as well. It doesn't matter what stance you're in you can be aggressive, OG, regular, whatever. So the first one we're going to do is the normal cannonball speed glitch which all you have to do is run. We have to just run with A or X on PS3 then jump with X or square with PlayStation and push up to do a cannonball on this right analog stick and then just press Y or triangle. That's simple, but it's all about timing. And let's go back into the timing. The timing of it is very different. The timing of it is different. Like you don't, it's not about how long you run for. It doesn't matter how long you run for. I just run until you get full speed. What you want to do is run, jump, push the cannonball. Now what I do is What's the timing which you need to let go of cannonball? So you want to run, jump, cannonball. And then as I've reached the top of my jump, which I've done here, and I'm starting to fall now, that's when I press Y. That's what I see. When I see myself, all right, I'm about to fall, press Y. And then you should get your speed glitch. Pretty simple. It's very simple, very easy. It's just very, very hard with the timing. You just need to get the timing down every single time. So if I use start, progress, start, trying this one over and over again just keep riding at it just keep trying because it will take a lot of time because the cannibal speaker is quite hard so i'll try and do it with my hands this way let's say if i do that That's a simple. Let's try with a simple cannibal just normal cannibal no hauling rb now with the cannibal gesture when you press a cannibal instead of just like just pushing forward there because you've got momentum in the air, you can let go of this analog stick. And then you can push a gesture, any gesture. If you want to, you can just spam it. But I just normally just hold to the left, or you can push up, you can push down, you can push any direction. And it looks like this. There you go. It doesn't get that much speed, but it gets enough to like do no complies. Now basically, you do the exact same as before with the other one, except from you just do a gesture in the midair. So it looks like this. Once you've got no, you've got the timing down for the normal, just cannibal, then then, once you know you can do it pretty much every single time, then try and do it with the gesture. Like, the way I just practiced it, it just kept going like this. Okay, I got it. Oh, I was too late, let's try again. Oh, I was too early, let's try again. Oh, that was perfect. And then you'll, soon your fingers will just take over because you know the muscle memory. Right, on to the next one, which is RB. RB is where you don't press any gestures, but you can just simply just press run. I run with RB, push forward and run with RB, jump. When once I've jumped, I let go of RB and then you push up and then you push Y. So, looks like that. And it's literally just the same as before, but you just keep holding different buttons. So, you do a gesture or then you do RB. So what I do is I would advance from not just normal cannonball and then pressing Y, 
then to cannonball with gesture, then pressing Y. Move to cannonball with no gesture, just normal cannonball, then cannonball with gesture, then move to cannonball with RB, and then move, then try and implement them to each other. So it's cannonball, RB, and gesture. And then if you really want to, what I do is I reach across with when I'm running, press my gesture, run, and that, do, that gets me a bit of speed. So you want to press your gesture, and it has like a certain time whilst it's still doing the gesture. And in that time gesture, you want to run and jump. So you press your gesture, run, jump. So you just basically want to break it down. It's quite simple. You want to run, press your gesture, jump, hold RB, and then press gesture again whilst you're in air. So if I slow it down, this is what my hands look like. Try it, I'll do it twice, once with my fingers in the top right hand corner, and just all warm my hands. So this is it. That's how it looks like. It's pretty hard to do. You just gotta keep trying. Let's say if I'm on PS3, for example. This is a PlayStation 2, but it's pretty much the same, and it's not really a PS2 controller. With PS3, the buttons which you need to press are you wanna press X, square, triangle. Those three buttons are what you wanna press. You don't need to worry about circle. R1 is what you wanna press for the uh, RB for Xbox, what I just explained. And then you want to push up on the analog stick here. And then with this one, you can just use to control yourself. And the gestures are all up here. So it should look like that. This glitch is very hard and it does take a lot of practice to do. It took me like six months. But that was like way back in 2012, uh, late 2012, 13. And I was really bad at the game. I was still doing varials at the time. There's different variations. There was the jump, jump normal cannonball and Y. Then you just want to add a gesture. Then you just want to press RB without a gesture, then gesture RB, and then gesture and RB at the same time. So right, right now, as I'm running, I do a gesture. So I've done my gesture, and then I jump. I'm still holding RB, but as soon as I jump, as you can see, my hands are starting to go up as well. That's because I've let go of RB. I let go of RB, or R1, and there's still a bit of time where you see my hand flick up like that at a 90 degree angle. So you see his hands like that. That's when you know you're about to do it right. So I run, I hold RB, I jump. So I've done my gesture, I run, jump, I let, well as soon as I jump, I let go of RB, or R1, and then as I reach the top of my jump, I am now pushing in the gesture again to hold it, so I'm pushing in a gesture again, and I'm pushing up to do a cannibal as well, as I push my gesture again, and then do a cannibal. I then have let go as soon as I reach the top of my jump, which is about here, and I press Y, and then my board comes into frame, and then you get your speed glitch. It's very hard, it sounds very complicated, but soon, you, once you keep practicing it enough, you can just do it every single time. It's very good for death race. It's very good for gapping. So say if you need to do the catapult speed glitch. So say if you want to, you can do cannibal speed glitch to a ramp, which is upside down. Flip off, do a catapult speed glitch, and then you get more speed. You can link them together. So you can do that, jump, like that. So then you get a bit more speed every single time. That's pretty much it. It's not too bad. It's quite hard. It takes a lot of practice. Trust me, my dog's bark. I hope you found this glitch tutorial for, uh, helpful. If not, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, You're, you're a fucking idiot.